Okay, everyone. So we are back again. Now we are talking about the ACX check. Um, so um, to start things off, open up Audacity and uh, go to the About Audacity section. You will see this uh, right here, just who worked on it. Um, so I'm running version 3.0. Point five, uh, click OK. Um, and as long as you're running above a 2.4.2 version, uh, this should work. So we need to be able to install um, the ACX check. Now, I do want to mention that uh, this is going to help you out with podcasting, audiobooks, or just something even for a video if you're working in Adobe Premiere Pro. So once again, I do add, I do stress, um, download this and uh, this should work. So, so now we need to make sure that we have an audio segment before we um, do anything else. So I'm gonna do a little test. All right, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Um, let's see if you can. yeah. All right, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, so you should hear it there, um, if I'm not mistaken. And don't don't worry, you're gonna see uh, everything as we go along. So we need to um add something and i will uh stress um a few things as we move on okay so you should see something like this and once again i will leave this okay actually you can't see that um okay so there are going to be links in the description um try and follow along uh with that but but first we're gonna to go to the tools. So we need to, we need to add something as well. So we need to apply macro. So we've got the, you gotta to go to macros and you're gonna to need to do new. So we've got to have an ACX check. I'm gonna name this ACX. I'm gonna click okay. And now we need to add our, the key things that we're gonna need for the ACX check. All right. All right, so you should have a limit. Let's see. Okay, so you need to add a filter curve, compressor, normalizer, normalize, uh, and a limiter. So we have to, um, let me click on that and we must go to insert. Now you can actually uh, scroll here. So we've got um, all these wonderful things. So I'm going to go to filter curve. If I could just get there, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, uh, filter curve, EQ. Okay. Um, I don't know what yours um, may be. So you may have a different version, but this is the version that we are going with. We've got to edit this. Um, or actually, I'm gonna hold off on editing that. Uh, so we need to keep inserting some things. So we also need a compressor. Okay, got that there. We need to normalize, so so just keep strolling there. Normal at play, normal at play, normal at play, normalize, okay. And we need the limiter, and this is gonna be key right here. Okay, limiter, limiter, limiter. Right, th right here. Okay, so yeah, your filter curve um, may show up different. Um, if you're in a different version, 
Um, it may just be filter curve, but for this, uh, go with filter curve EQ. Also, I'll leave uh, uh, three links actually on the updated version of uh, 3.5 as well. So just be sure to um, be sure to uh, just update that if you already have Audacity, or you could just download it from the same link uh, as well. So just keep a note of that. Okay. Now we have to edit the comp the components. So we're going to click back up on filter curve. We're going to click edit again. You're going to go to manage. You've got the factory presets, low roll off for speech you should have. So like this, so just leave it as, leave it like that. And we're going to click okay. Um, yeah, just hold up a minute. Yeah, click okay there. All right, compressor is gonna be a threshold of 20, leave the rest the same, then you're gonna click okay. So uh, here we go, edit, uh, negative 20 is your threshold. Um, hold up one second. We're, I've got to just pause. Okay, so just uh, want to touch on something real quickly. Just make sure that these presets are good for your compressor. All right, and uh, just, yeah, make up in, yeah. After that, um, yeah, and then just leave it like that. Okay. Um, normalize, click that. We're gonna edit this. Um, it should be set to negative one dB. Uh, remove DC offsets, make sure it's negative one dB. Okay, yes, yeah, so just remove this right here. And, and you should be good. So click okay. Now we have to deal with the limiter. And this is uh, just gonna be something a little different. So go ahead, uh, click edit, set this to negative 3.5. Leave everything else the same. So yeah, input, gain right there. And just let me pause this one more time. Just Okay, yeah, so just, um, yeah, so just wanted to uh, make sure of that. Um, so you have negative 3.5 right there. You have negative 10 for the hold. You've got no and you are going to click okay, baby. Okay. All right, and when done, click OK. All right. And let me just go back and. OK, um, now just close this out. Uh, and uh, of course, click yes. You should. All right, we're going to and select all. You can do this Control A or Command A or just come up to the toolbar here. Okay, and then we have to get um, apply macro. You got ACX right here, and just give that a moment and look at that. Um, also, you need to remove the ums and the ahs uh, when doing that. So, so just take note of that. And you may still have a bunch of popping right here. So. So you may not have heard that even though it was so low, but, but just keep in notice that you still may have certain things. Uh, so actually I'm gonna undo this. We're gonna remove this from the recording because of course you could get your ums and ahs. And, and now we, 
And now we are going to hold on. And now we are going to get the apply macro. Um, control A, tools, apply macro, ACX. And look at that. It evened it out, didn't it? Yeah. So there is that. And okay, so now we are back here. You are going to download this. Um, you're going to, uh, no, we have to save this. So save the file. Um, just be sure that you know where this is going. Um, let me just see that. Okay, it's complete. Um, okay. And you can't see this. Um, okay, you can't see the access folder now. Um, if I could just, okay, let me just hold on, hold up a sec. Okay, and now you can see this. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this somewhere. If I could just get this. In fact, I may actually put this right here. Or do I wanna put this in documents? Um, no, I'm gonna put this in Audacity. I'm gonna Paste that. Give that a moment. Or actually, we're going to go back if I could just get there. Okay, so um, just make sure you save that in a folder where you know you're gonna get it. Um, so I'm gonna bring that up real quickly. We're gonna have, we've got to install that. So just hang on a moment. Okay, so you should have um, tools and you should have a Nyquist prompt. Now we are going to go to manage. You are going to go to import, or actually rather we're going to load this. Libraries, documents, uh, where is that? And there it is. Okay, and you've got this loaded. Uh, we have to save this. So save preset as ACX check. Um, okay, and then, okay. Okay, and of course it says that um, I failed the preset. Um, Peak level should be negative three, six. Um, so it must be in range of a noise floor, floor past too loud. Okay, and then I'm just gonna reduce this. So amplify to, um, we're gonna reduce this by negative 1.6 tools. Um, okay. 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 Amplify. We're just going to do negative one.
too loud, still too loud. Okay. So I just want to make uh, certain that I've got this um, for you all. So I'm just going to do effect amplify. Maybe I'll just do negative 2.0 and see where we get this. Um, my quiz prompt. Okay fail to still too loud um effect amplify maybe i'll do negative five like i'll do it i'm i'm really trying here uh, to do two Yeah, so, um, all right, we've got to go back to tools one more time. Nyquist prompt. It's too quiet. Um, okay, I'm just going to keep doing that. And, and this is definitely the, um, okay, that is way too loud effect. And this is definitely a bit of the issue, right? Tools. Maybe. 3 dB. Negative. Um, all right, this should do it. Okay, and now you, and now we've passed. Oh. So just make sure that these levels work um, and, and also be sure that you have a room tone uh, when you are starting out. So, that, so all that would mean is just um, turn off your microphone or set it to the lowest setting, hit record uh, for one second, stop it, and then, and then turn your mic back up and then read the script. Uh, do your podcast, do your YouTube video, um, and then that will uh, play as well. And also leave some room tone at the end if you are doing an audiobook. Um, please be sure to check out the links in in the comments section below. Um, I will be happy to answer any questions that you may have in this video. You can also um, email me as well. I will, uh, I'll leave my email address in the description below. And um, with that being said, uh, stay safe, stay great. I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace, everyone.